Good morning, my name's Mike. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do copper foil stained glass. It's one of my one of my hobbies that I like to do. I haven't done it for eh, probably about two or three years, so I uh, might be a little bit uh, might be a little bit on the rusty side when it comes to cutting and grinding, but we're going to get through it together and uh, we're going to show you how to make some stained glass pieces. So I decided that I wanted to do a feather. So, oh, by the way, I'm Mike. Hi, hi there. Um, so a friend of mine, Leah, she actually can produce um, images and drop them onto vinyl sheets. So that's what we've done here. So all these feathers, probably a copyright infringement, but all these feathers, uh, she's pulled off the internet and actually printed it onto vinyl. Why we did that? Um, well, I find that it's easier to stick, so it's got a sticky backing behind it. Uh, I find that it's easier to stick it on the glass, so when we're actually doing the cutting and the shaping of the glass uh, with the grinder, it uh, it just, uh, the vinyl stays put and doesn't come off, uh, like sometimes paper or using permanent marker. Permanent marker, I just find when you start grinding that it just kind of disappears. So I'm going to get started cutting the patterns out of the uh, cutting the patterns out of the uh, uh, of our template and then I'm going to place them on top of the glass itself and then I'm going to start cutting and grinding and doing all sorts of uh, interesting things. So I'm going to just lay this piece of this piece of vinyl on top of the glass. Make sure everything fits okay. So it fits like that. All right, so I got a couple pieces uh, cut up or just uh, just vinyled up so far. So we're going to show you how to use the glass cutters now. Now you always want to make sure you got your safety glasses on because if you don't have the safety glasses on, little glass chips can fly around. So we want to make sure that uh, want to make sure that we don't get any glass shards in our eye because uh, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. I find that just doing a forward cut, you can kind of see the whales coming out there, and just you want to go as close to the pattern as you can. You can kind of hear that that cutting that cutting sound, and then you just get a pair of pliers, and you can just cut it. That's all we got. So it's just this piece can go off to the side, and now this piece we're going to grind that afterwards. So I've just done some rough cuts on the glass. You can see there's a little bit of a you know a little bit of a uh, edge on this one, a little bit uh, of a corner. So we're going to clean that up. But you can see how now we're, our puzzle pieces are all start, starting to kind of take a little bit of shape, a little bit of form back into the original piece before we cut it out of the vinyl. So we're going to get over to the glass grinder and uh, we're going to start dressing that up. So I'm going to turn on the grinder and uh, I'm going to just grind some of this glass. Again, my safety glasses are on right here. And um, let's shape this glass and uh, see how, it, uh, how everything turns out. So it's very, very just a light pressure against the grinding stone. The grinding wheel takes a lot of glass off. If you push it hard on it, it's going to take a lot of material off. So just lightly, what you want to do, instead of having it nice and shiny here, you want it dull. The uh, copper foil tape has an adhesive backing, and it will adhere to that better than it will here as well. And plus, we still need to massage everything as well. Okay, so now you can see that that piece, everything is, uh, the uh, the vinyl, everything's shaped to the size of the vinyling. Um, and you can see all the edges are all nice and dull. There's, uh, and now it's a little bit less, uh, uh, there's less potential of getting cut as well because it's dulled the, uh, dulled the glass right out. Okay, so we have all the glass pieces cut and ground now. Now we just want to clean everything up because there's um, the coolant that, uh, the coolant that's used in the grinder it leaves it leaves residue. Let's see the residue on it. So we're going to clean all the glass up, and uh, I will come back and we'll start foiling foiling the workpiece itself. Okay, so we got the uh, we have the feather mostly foiled up, but I just want to do a quick uh, foil demo. So there's already some glass cleaner on this uh, this cloth, so I want to make sure that there's no no residue from the uh, from the coolant on there and and the grinding media as well. Just peel that back. We want to get it right in the center. We want to get it right in the center of the of the glass. Okay, and then we want to start working our way. Now there are little machines and tools and stuff to foil the uh, foil the glass. I just do it by hand. So you can see I have it a little bit off. So I'm just going to gently try and pull it back. Try not to touch it as much as I did. And then just start working it around the working it around the piece itself. 
Now we have a tool called a burnishing tool. We're going to give the copper foil a good rub so it's on. So it's on, it sticks onto that glass. You want to make sure that it's well, well stuck. I usually do the sides first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold, fold the foil tape over. Okay, so it has to overlap over top of the glass itself. A little bit of a, little bit of a final, final touch up here. Okay, so our next step is we're going to uh, take it over to a different area and we're going to start doing the soldering process. So we're going to need some uh, some products. So we need some solder. So this is 6040 solder. I do buy it from the stained glass shop. And then there's a soldering iron. Now this one's all preheated, ready to go. So we want to uh, make sure it's warm enough in order to uh, in order to do our uh, soldering task. We also have I have a little foam brush, and we also have some flux. Now the flux is an uh, is a uh, mild acid that will etch that copper. We're going to wash it off after it is um, after it has been all soldered up. Okay, so I've applied some flux in some areas. I'm just going to just apply a little bit more right here. Push this guy back in place. Make sure everything everything that's back. What we're going to do? We're just going to do some tacking. We're going to tack tack some of these areas. I got one spot already tacked up. Um, so soldering iron is fairly hot. So see how it see how the uh, solder just flows nicely on there and we're just going to touch that surface area now it does have to warm up the surface area has to heat up too okay. it's going to put a little bit more solder here good okay. a little bit of solder right here just to hold some of these joints together Okay, so we have the front side tacked up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and we're going to start soldering the back side. Just flip it over and we're going to start so you can see where you get, where sometimes you get the solder bleed through in the back. So. I'm going to zoom in a bit and uh, start flowing the solder. More flux here. Just a little bit of solder here. Yeah, so I cooled it off and flip, well, let it cool off, and I flipped it over and see what I say. I mentioned about bleed through, so I'm just going to flex this area, and now I'm going to just make that solder flow, and all those little pockets, all those little excess, um, you know, amounts of solder, we're just going to flow it all into the, uh, flow it on all into the uh, areas of the feathers. So I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. There's a little piece of solder there that we can. Off. The solder won't stick to the glass. It will stick to the copper foil, but it won't stick to the glass. Alright. Just touch this all up a bit, flip it over, and I'm going to check the back side, and then see where we're at. So we're just on the back side right now. I just want to make it flow just a little bit better on the back side. So I'm just uh, trying to tidy up and just finish just uh, tinning the edges. Sometimes if there's a little bit too much solder you can just kind of just make it flow and then if there's too much you can just flick it off and get it onto the get it off the tip. So otherwise it'll just continue to flow. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some of the uh, very fine, it's ultra fine steel wool. It's uh, so it's four. Uh, we call it four aught. So it's four zeros, and it's uh, and it'll do actually a really nice job just kind of tidying up all the uh, all the uh, solder joints and and uh, dressing it all up. Um, so I'm going to get started on that. Let it cool down once again, and um, and then we'll. Uh, Kind of get to our last, our last section of the, uh, our last part of our, uh, our project. Right. Okay. Next step. Patina. So this is some copper patina. I'm going to put it into a little, small little shot glass. We're not going to do any shots. I don't think that's going to fare out very well for us. Um, so I'm just going to put a small amount in, pretty blue color. And I have used the steel wool, so I just use a steel wool just to kind of dress up the solder joints. Um, washed it, and now at the final step is uh, is just applying some of this patina. So this is pretty cool actually. What it's going to do is it's going to, actually going to turn it back into a copper color like it was before we before we. Um, started uh, soldering it. So just after the foiling process, you kind of see how it's starting to turn back into our back into our copper color. At the end of it, after everything kind of settles in there, we're going to wash it off, do a final wash, and then uh, and then we'll uh, give it to my daughter's friend and uh, she can hang it up wherever she wants to hang it up. Cool, huh?